Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. So today, we've got some information about The Mandalorian. And yeah, there is going to be some spoilers here. So if you haven't seen the first episode of The Mandalorian, then just click off the video. But we are going to be talking spoilers because there's some interesting information about what pops up at the ending. Now, this comes direct from two parties directly involved with the project, John Favreau, uh, as well as Carl Weathers. So, John Favreau has come out and said that, look, this character, this tiny little Yoda baby, is absolutely not just a throwaway character. He's actually very, very important, apparently. So, he stated to Variety the following, I wanted to surprise people, and I wanted to... Well, there are bigger arcs that go through the whole season and the whole throw of the show. So as fun as it is to reveal new characters and surprise them, it also fits into a larger narrative about what's going on in the galaxy after the revolution. And this is an important character. And obviously there were some leaks during the production of The Mandalorian. There were some behind-the-scenes photos revealed and things like that. And Favreau went on to comment on how hard it is to keep things under wraps and not spoil anything and for things just to come out in the open. He states, You know how hard that is to do that nowadays? And what type of commitment it took from everybody who was on set and from the studio to hide all the clues that people, especially Star Wars fans, normally tap into. Looking into toy catalogues, looking into marketing materials, looking into style guides, photography, and the fact that that secret was kept is incredible. Which, yeah, I mean, I've got to say that's that's a pretty spot-on description of you know keeping things under wraps. Now, Carl Weathers went on to reveal some interesting information about the character, but obviously keeping some things under wraps as well. Of course, he states that he has his own name and he is very interesting. And now, here's the thing which I find very, very interesting, is that he's very knowledgeable and very cute. And he says, I never use that word, but he is a cute little guy. Now, he also went on to say that you have to see the shows to figure out who this baby Yoda really is and what he is all about, or even if he is really a baby Yoda. So that that's interesting there. I mean, that's going to get a lot of uh, Star Wars theorists under underway, people chit-chatting about what the hell's going on as if they weren't already. Um, the thing which I find surprising about this is the fact that he's apparently already very, very knowledgeable, which goes to show that, yeah, he might be a baby, but he's 50 years old, but apparently he has a lot of information, which goes on to how Yoda is described in the, you know, the, the original uh, series and saga. Apparently, Yoda became a Jedi Master at 80, I believe it was. So, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was 80. So if this little baby Yoda thing is 50 years old, then it goes to show that he is going to be very, very knowledgeable if he is uh, indeed, say, powerful in the Force or things like that. Now, the comments from Favreau saying that he's going to be important moving forwards and things along those lines, it does seem to indicate that this character will play a pretty central role. Now, a lot of people have obviously gone on to theorise even further that this character will somehow pop up at the end of the rise of Skywalker and stomp the Emperor to pieces as almost divine retribution for the, the fact that Yoda lost the battle against the Emperor uh, back in the day. So, I don't know whether that will happen, but you know, this, the, the problem with prequels to current stories is that you do have to figure out a way to write out these characters so that they either do line up with what's going on in the future or that their interactions and actions in the universe line up with current continuity. So if he doesn't die and he is powerful in the Force, where the hell is he, basically? But anyway, I thought I'd bring you this news. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you're new here, make sure you do hit subscribe. You can stay up to date on the world of pop culture and movie news by hitting the bell notification icon. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Mr. H. Take care.